Okay. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, a little out of breath because I just finished um, scraping the floor, which I'll show you in a second. This is the second coat of mud and it's incomplete. Um, uh, when you do the corners, so how do I describe this? This is the, the bevel uh, or chamfer, whatever you call it. Um, that's the part of the drywall that is supposed to get taped. So there's a dip. So on the second um, go around, I'm just trying to fill that up. The thing is that I can't do the opposing side of the corner because then the, the, as I use the trowel up there, it'll dig a huge groove in the mud down there. So I have to wait for that side to dry before I can actually finish the second coat entirely. Now that said, um, I think it went on fairly well. The places that I, I got are much better, um, much smoother, and I'm certainly beginning to understand why uh, the experts say it takes three coats. Honestly, I thought, you know, after the first coat, I was probably good to go. But then when I came back to do the second coat, um, I noticed, let's see, did I leave any? I guess I got it all. Anyway, um, the stuff, the mud that I put in the, even, oh, on the ceiling. I didn't get to the ceiling, this, all of it. Um, anyway, I, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Maybe with the light coming in at the side, you can, oh, there's a perfect example. So this stuff shrinks. So, uh, you know, you fill it, and then when you come back, it's no longer full. So, um, yeah, three coats, no problem. Now, this area here, as I told you in the last video or the one before, was expected to be an unholy mess. Um, the second coat actually went in, so like there's a huge um, empty void here that needs to be filled. So this was a six inch knife. I've already gone over it with a four inch knife. I've more or less filled it with the six. Uh, and then I'll come back with the proper full-sized trowel uh, there. And then, just in case, I picked up that monster there. So I'll also give that a go. All right, now back to the scraping. I got um, kind of um, a huge boon. So I finished off as much of the mud as I can do today. I have to wait for this coat to, to solidify before I can uh, do any more of it. So I, I grabbed um, uh, the thoroughly appropriate tool for the job and I started scraping off the mortar, the thin set that I used to put the tiles down. And I was elated when it came up really easily. Now, at first I assumed that, that was a function of the porcelain uh, because it's got a, a, a glossy glazed um, surface, right? Not porous, so there's nothing for the mortar to grab onto, so it just flaked off. Um, but as I was going, um, I noticed, so I had this, um, ugh, this corner here, which I didn't quite put down properly. So I only put down, you can probably still see, one uh, uh, leveling tab on each side. So what that meant was, and I'm exaggerating here, it was perfect here and perfect here, but it was actually sticking up here. So I knew I was going to probably have to pull it out and reset it. So while I was cleaning out the grout from between the, or the mortar, sorry, from between the, the tiles where I want to be able to grout, um, I noticed it was ever so slightly smooth. So not smooth, sorry, uh, it was moving. So I, I grabbed it and I pulled it out. Um, so I back buttered all of these and you can see that there's like, there's only texture here, which to me means that it was only grabbing there. And what shocked me to discover was that this thin set is still wet in places. Um, and we're talking two, three weeks after I put this stuff down. So, um, I mean, I, I back buttered everything. No other tiles are moving, but I'm, I'll confess, I'm still just a little bit freaked out by the fact that this is, is, um, came out so easily. So that's good. Uh, in, in this, oh, yep. See, it's still completely wet. I mean, I, I put a little bit of water in the thin set to, to water it down, but not a whole lot. And I can only imagine that um, because it's got a, uh, an impermeable membrane beneath it and a glazed tile above it, um, I, you know, I have to wait for the water to migrate from, from here out to the edges where it can you know, uh, dry out, evaporate, whatever. 
Um, but I am a little bit freaked out by that because it suggests that none of these tiles are actually properly uh, dried and set yet. Um, I don't notice any movement and I've been hitting them pretty hard, uh, you know, I've been crawling on them and I've been over them and the, the fellows who put the windows in have been over them, so uh, probably don't have to worry too much, um, but yeah, I'm a little bit freaked out. So anyway, I'll, I'll go and get the tiniest um, tub of thin set possible and reset that and then I think I'm actually going to go to Home Depot today and get grout. Um, I think everybody who watches these videos is Canadian or has been to Canada. Anyway, this, this weekend is the July 1st weekend. So July 1st, which is Monday, uh, it's a holiday. So I get an extra day to work on this, but mm, the stores won't be open. I won't be able to get supplies. So I, I need to get them uh, either today or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm, I might even be able to grab, well, probably not if I'm replacing that tile sugar. Oh, well. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, because this filling these things and sanding is still going to take another day. I guess what I'm getting at is I can do the drywall after the grout. And the reason I want the grout in is because once the grout is in place, then I can put the toilet in and I can I can do the the mud around the toilet and even the shower. You know, I don't even have to paint back here because it's going to be covered up by those fiberglass walls. So... Anyway, that's where we stand. Um, I think four o'clock. Yeah, it's coming time. Uh, the dump closes at six and I've got a lot of waste to get rid of this weekend. The guys that put in the windows, they, they took out all the frames and in most cases actually preserved the frames. So the frames are in fine condition, but they're sitting in my living room. So those need to go. All right. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Hope you are having a fantastic weekend. Love you all and bye for now.